All right, guys, how's it going? Awesome Soul here, and I am joined by Roland. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, we are bringing out our Titan leg, Max. Seems like this guy is doing exactly the same as us. I approve. And mm -hmm. uh, about to wreck some faces. Hopefully, that's the plan at least. Yeah. So, this is the new bot that I made, the uh, Monolith. A very imposing name for a very imposing bot. Yeah. I uh, and decided I... to play around with the Mega Electroplates and the Mega Legs because their CPU was reduced. And so far, so good. Yeah. And I just uh, kind of upgraded the Golem Sentinel. I put uh, Mega Plasmas on it. And kind of did similar to my uh, Palos robot and just kind of combined the two concepts using Mega Legs and Mega Plasmas. Uh, yeah. And I've had pretty good luck with it so far. Oops. Except for traffic jams. But, uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm really looking forward to see what I can do with this at 1750. And we've yeah. actually made pretty good progress on our leveling, too, haven't we? Yeah, I'm, uh, 111 currently. Mm -hmm. And I got to uh, 109 to start a little later. But uh, I'll have some time tomorrow to play, too. Yeah, but uh, pro tip for you guys watching. Battle Arena is the way to go if you want to level up. Definitely. Yeah. That's how we were getting all those levels. In fact, one match I got two levels. Yeah. I seem Very to nice. be getting about a level per match. Or 90% of a level per match, anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, Alright, oh, that yeah. flyer. I gotta bring him down. So, have you played around with shield. the wheels yet? Uh, not really. I played around with the hovers and uh, was still a little underwhelmed. I got a bot that looks really cool, and it uses four of the mega hovers, but like one gets blown off pretty easily, and then you're all unstable. So I need to do a little bit more innovating on that front. But uh, yeah, I haven't really tried the wheels, um, but I'd like to try them. And I don't know if I'd get four or maybe just use them like in the rear only and do like a drag rest here kind of look or something. Yeah, I saw somebody uh, post a bot like that. It looked pretty cool. I don't know how well it performs. Nice. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of the main thing. Yeah. Although I think work. it's 44,000 health, which is nothing to sneeze at. It's bigger than uh, tank tracks. Yeah, you need to get some mega tank tracks. I don't know if they're going to call them that, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Extra large tank tracks. I don't know okay, what the, so the biggest one. I think here? the biggest are mammoth, so I don't know what would be bigger than a mammoth. Um, hmm. A uh, whale shark. I don't know. I, uh, That's bigger. Yeah. Blue whale. Blue blue leg. whale. Doesn't yeah. really make sense though, does it? No. <laughs> blue whale track. Yeah. Doesn't sound as cool for sure. Right. Although they did kind of break some of the naming conventions when they uh, renamed these mega parts. Yeah, I noticed that. So we got all kinds of crazy names for these things now. Yeah, it's all explorer-related stuff for the wheels, and then you hit the mega, and it's just the monster wheel. Yeah, this uh, mega plasma is now the Gl Goliathon or something. Yeah, the Goliathon, Goliathon gun. and Leviathan for the laser. Yeah, Leviathan. That's pretty funny. That's like a sea monster. Yeah, that's kind of funny because one of my uh, old RPG names was Leviathan uh, oh. way back when, when I was playing Dark Age of Camelot. A <laughs> little known fact, but many, many moons ago. All right, we're gonna do another. Uh, you yeah, deathmatch. That sounds right, good. Cool. So stick I'm tight, in. guys, and we will be right back. Okay, we have returned on Spitzerdam. Yeah. I uh, I actually Let's have my music goes. off, but apparently the uh, the new music track that their brand new composer, or I guess he's not brand now. I think he's been around for a while, about a month or so, added a uh, fancy new battle music track to this map. Mm -hmm. Presumably there's going to be a unique one for every map. Which, uh, it's going to be pretty cool, because it, it sounds quite awesome. I have I have heard it. I mean, I should know. I am the awesome soul, after all. I know what is and is not awesome. <laughs> You're now a connoisseur of fine uh, gaming music, I see. Mm, I haven't yeah, actually listened to it yet, but uh, I always keep my music off on the game, at least. I just play other music. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have to keep my uh, sounds low just for recording purposes, and then I, I can never be bothered to turn them back. Alright. Yeah. 
All right, let's see. Almost got that guy out of there. Really concentrating there for a second. Yeah. They're kind of all pooled up over there on the other side. I'm getting pretty good hits on them. Yeah, so something I've kind of noticed that now that more people are using lots of mega electroplates, or they're not mega elect, they're always going to be mega electroplates for me, okay? Because electroplate <laughs> J and K does not sound that impressive. But anyways, yeah, I I've, I've noticed that, that if you have a lot of mega electroplates on your bot, and uh, you go up against somebody with a proto seeker, you will get shredded, because most of your CPU is in these electroplates, and I think. Yeah. Somebody in my comments a while back said they deal three times damage to electroplates. So, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. I just, I don't even use them hardly anymore. I mean, in my builds, I hardly ever use electroplates because they're kind of underpowered to begin with, and then with that disadvantage, it's almost not worth using them. Yeah, they are on a mega leg. But I do appreciate the CPU cut. Mm -hmm. At least on the megas. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. They've uh, been serving right. me pretty well so far. Mm hmm. Yeah, Mega Legs are, are the way to go. Oh, yeah. So, definitely. That's how I ended up getting up to the top uh, brackets and uh, P5, I think. I kind of attribute it to just, you know, both good builds and then also using the right parts. So, yeah. Nice combination of both those things. It's important. Yes. All right. Are we going to go for game three? Uh, No, I think that's pretty good. A nice little taste. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Just going back to the whole Mega Hover thing. I have mm -hmm. kind of played around with it. I never brought my Mega Hover into a match, but I was having trouble getting my Mega Hover to work with regular hovers. It seems yeah. like it's a lot stronger still than the other one, so it would bring the back up, and I tried to go forward, and it would just flop completely horizontal. Yeah, it definitely is super strong. I, th I don't know if you'd have any better luck if you just put one on the front and back, like, in a line, and then put one uh, left and right almost like... Um, a cross almost instead of doing them on corners it might work better because or you know because if you try to do two in the back that are megas and two in the front that are uh regular ones you got to place the regular ones way down closer to the ground i think to get it to work or you know even have a chance of working yeah so, yeah i saw your yeah. uh four hover four mega hover it works thing. it works really good it just it's shitty because it, those hovers are exposed at the peak front and yeah. 36,000 health is not really enough health. I mean, honestly, it's, you know, one rail shot will take out one of those blades still. Yeah, it's so, not. Like, the health you, of the mech leg is more than the health of the, uh, what is it? The, uh, the hover blade. Plus, they have the yeah. shielding. So. Right. They, yeah, they, they have 168,000 more health on top of the 54, I think it is, for the health of the leg. So, yeah, it's, it's not even close. In fact, if, uh, if I was um, the company, I would be thinking about making like the mega hovers electroplated and the mega wheels electroplated. Just make all the those mega parts electroplated, in my opinion. You That's know, the same way idea, that the mega, actually. The, yeah, so the same way that mega uh, legs are. And while they're at it, let's do a tank track too that's electroplated. I mean, because if you're going to invest that much into it, you need it to actually be substantial, not something you can just shoot off at a whim, you know, with a couple SMG shots or one rail. So yeah, exactly. That's my opinion. No, I, I completely agree. In. They yeah, definitely yeah. need to rebalance all of the parts. They just don't have enough armoring. Cubes are fine. Yeah. Cubes are fine as they are. Because mm -hmm. land ships are hard to take down, but if you've got a bot with a lot of parts on it, and you're kind of just like uh, a pinata. Just whack it for free RP. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Exactly. So. Yeah, I definitely like that. Definitely a believer in uh, some of the mega weapons and stuff, too. The big uh, thumbs up for Flak right now. That's been really serving me well. Uh, even though, you know, it's kind of specialty, but there's still so many flyers out there that you, you know, just by having that, you really can give yourself a big advantage. Yeah. I have uh, a dedicated so anti-air bot, and every time I bring it in, there's no flyers. <laughs> that feels right. Yeah, that feels yep. right. I had to kind of mix it up, because I, I did something like that, too, and it was the same case. And so you're stuck with, like, trying to flack everybody. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't work real well. Mm -hmm. But with a couple couple ground uh, weapons to it, it, it does work out pretty good. So you might try just mixing up your, your uh, cache of weapons and see if that works better for you. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I am really liking the 
the hovers, I can put those on mega legs now uh, with the extra CPU you get just from the decrease because they're like half the cost now of what they used to be. So I was able to like improve my guns and improve my uh, jump hovers and stuff. And, and I'm liking it so far, and I haven't even... We're only, what, a tenth of the way to our goal now, you oh, know, yeah. for one, our 50... Uh, level well, you're a little closer, now, aren't you? 11, uh, 150, 111 now, or something yeah, 111, like 112. Nice, yeah. So, I don't think it's going to take as long. I was kind of worried that this is going to be a super grind, but I guess we haven't got up far enough. Maybe like level 40 through 50 will be horrible, <laughs> yeah. <I guess laughs> Who knows? So. so, uh, down below, everybody can list off what level they currently are and what parts you're kind of using. Are you uh, playing around with any of the mega parts? And if you have tried out the hovers or wheels, let us know your opinions on those as well. I will go ahead and wrap the video up right here. I thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check the description below for Roland's channel, and I will see you next time. Take care.